Good after morning, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. This is episode 72 of the Wacky Random Challenge. So, after the Azure Coast, we move on to Bannock Bay. One of the three tracks that I had done complete in time training, but of course the scene of my very first challenge here in Project Cars, the Bluster Bay Challenge. Okay, what are we taking around the fictitious Scottish Highlands. Let us see. We are taking... Oops, try that again. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the Ford Sierra RS500 Cosworth and the Caddy. I like. What weather are we taking the Sierra? Fog. It's nice to actually do Bannock Bay in the dry. So, what's yet? Ah, uh, the fog in the day. Okay, I think it's fair to say I don't need practice here. Monza, Monza Short, Bannock Bay, and Bathurst were the four tracks I did complete in time training. It was over 500 times I actually set. In the end, before I decided to do, well, this lot, basically. What a noise! And away we go! Oh, oh dear. Of course, when we were last year, I had the driver line and all the driver aids on. No such luck this time. That's not good. Come on, yep. Ah, uh, my wall. <laughs> it was my call, my wall, because I pretty much hit it with every single car I took around here in the Blaster Bay Challenge. And I hit it most laps as well. <laughs> There were not many, if any, cars that didn't get introduced to that wall. It's scary to think that I started that challenge with 30% bots. Well, technically I started with 100% and realised very quickly that was a really stupid idea. But uh, with a change of steering wheel, because my original terrible cheap budget wheel broke, to the point it was determined to steer me at like 11 degrees to the left all the time. It was over there. Oops. Oh, I got squished. And that was, it was during that challenge. Oh dear! Oh, ow, that could have got a lot worse. Thank you, Wall. Uh, then I got the current wheel, the Driving Force GT. It's still serving me good and strong now. Whoops. Bit slow on the gear change there. Well, top 10, top half of the field. Oh, 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 just kept out of the wall. Oh, oh dear. If 
you never drove this circuit in Project Cars 1, enjoy it in Project Cars 2. Of course, soon you're getting Project Cars 2. I most certainly am. Come on. Sierra there. I hit that wall a lot as well. <laughs> Bang! Whoa. Oh, come on. Oh, you swine! Yeah, L plates on the bumpers, how out? They're not L plates, I know, but they look like L's. Whoa! Weird little spot that they break in right there, I do not know why. Boing! They ended up facing backwards quite a few times along this section. trap as I called it, that gate on the left there where I lost so many of my time trial times because I just overcooked that last corner and buried it in the gate. Because it being quite a long track, that got hellishly frustrating. Oh no, too hot, way too hot. Halfway through the challenge. I love this circuit. It was part of the reason I chose Bandit Break to try my very first series. I just love this circuit. I mean, it doesn't exist in real life. There is no such place as Bannock Break. But it feels very much like it could well be, you know, a back road through the Highlands of Scotland. Uh, as I used to live in Scotland. I'm not born and bred there, as you might tell from my accent. But it just definitely has to feel like it could have been based around a lock somewhere. It's, it's so beautiful, you can't really get the full extent of it with the haze. The hazy fog effect. But the last video I did of the Gloucester Bay Challenge, I did... Oh, yeah! lovely slide there. Uh, I did in the clear day so you can just see the, the beautiful surroundings of this circuit. There's a pair of mercs up there. And that's going to be the lead. He'll jump over to the right, there he goes, and he'll tap the brakes for some unknown reason. And through I go. Very weird. No, I still don't know why the bots do it, they just do. Hey! Final lap then! switch over to the Cadillac. I'd be curious to see how the lap times stack up. I don't imagine this will be as quick as the GT3s, but I wonder how much of a difference there'll be. The quartering efficiency will be far better than the GT3 cars. That goes without saying, really.
Oh, way too early. Way too early. Oh. That could have done better. Uh, yes. I managed to actually keep out of that wall. On that map. I'll take that. Whoa! I did at one point name all the corners, but I can't remember at all what I named them. Oh dear. That didn't go well. There's not, there's still only a couple of seconds between me and the guy behind. So I haven't broken away from them, but they have broken away from the rest of the field pretty comprehensively. Oh dear. Oi, oi, oi. That was amazing fun. Oh, I really did enjoy that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Only a couple of seconds in it. Quite a bit in it between the rest of the field. And there's the, oh no, there's the next Sierra. 2.32. Whew! Right. The Cadillac. Okay. Can, where is he? There he is. Cadillac. What weather? Heavy cloud at night. Oh, okay. Dry racing at Bannock Brain. That is novel. Oops. Oh, I did change the scene. <laughs> uh, heavy cloud at night. Okie dokie. No idea how this is going to go. This will look really weird in the dark. Well, it will look weird to me, at least. With how many miles I've done on this circuit in the daylight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go! And away we go! Whoa! Uh oh, sorry, Audi. Squash you against the barrier. Oh, that's karma for you. <laughs> ah, that wasn't necessary. Turning around can be quite tricky at some parts of the circuit. I know, because I had to do it quite a lot <laughs> in the Bluster Bay Challenge. the Sierra would have handled a bump better than this thing. So the corner of your efficiency may not be as as much in uh, in the favour of the Cadillac as I initially thought. Uh, the braking efficiency definitely is. It was two, 229, so... Was it 229? Whoops! I've already forgotten what my uh, lap time was from, from the Sierra. Such is my uh, terrible memory. Whoa! 
Oh yeah, that stuck to the road much better at that point. Oh no, horrible, horrible, horrible. Mummy. Friends of might read, you won't jump into the air, which you can quite easily at that point. He will almost certainly slam into the wall. Not because we are doing things. Yeah, the cornering efficiency is so much better in this car. Right then, let's pick our way through the field. So four, excuse me. Oh, nice move, sir. Oh, I don't want to be outside of this corner. Oh dear. Oh. I didn't think I'd really struggle with the Kelly. Then I wouldn't have taken that line if it wasn't side by side with someone. To be fair. Right, come on. Oops, no, completely wrong. Ah. <laughs> Turned in a bit early there. Three breakaways at the front. Oh, come on. Oh, way too late. Well, hey, too late. How am I doing? Come on, focus. Oh dear. Ow, oh, yeah. That was my own fault. Totally my own fault. Oh, goodness me. Come oh, on. I'm really surprised I'm struggling so badly with this car. Oh well. It's all going wrong. <sighs> Come on. 
Come on! Put the last lap at least. Oops. That's a bit better. Six seconds to try and gain to the back of the field. Come on, round, 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 round. There we go. Five seconds out for that effect. Could just about, unless I have a total howler. Oh, that is going to be very, very, very close. Whoa! Might not be so close anymore. That last time with the 224, and I think it was either 224 or 223 left on the on the watch. On the watch? On the time. Ugh, oh, driving and words all completely failing me now. Whoops. corner right once in this car. I probably did it better in the bleed and wet. Oh well. At least I'm not lapped. There was uh, a few occasions I was lapped in the Luster Bay Challenge. There's a few occasions I've been lapped at every challenge. This is the problem with being a jack of all trades, master of none. They've had a few wins here and there. I've had far more. <laughs> I say far more losses. Far more occasions of being last than I have being first. Yeah, I'm not going to do it now. Check the flag is out. I missed it by f just shy of five seconds. Hi, yeah, yeah. It is good to go round by that bray again. <laughs> Not a valid lap to be found. What a shock! Oh dear. Yeah, my best wasn't really in the league of those ahead of me. Never mind. That is it for this episode. It's always GT it was GT3 cars I struggled with before. I remember. I always struggle with the GT3 cars around Bannock Bray for some reason. I don't know why, whether it's just bumpy or what's going on. No idea. But that is it for this episode. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.